In this video, we are going to see the GUIAM Commando C2000 series L2 Plus switch. So to take the GUI access, click on Open Network Settings, Ethernet, Change Adapter Options and give the Ethernet IP address from 192.168.0.22254 whichever you like then subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 and gateway IP address will be 192.168.0.1 okay. connect this uh, PC or laptop to the switch and then Chrome, Chrome and type 192.168.0.1 you will get this uh, interface page for commando c2000 series switch username will be admin and password will be commando in small case then log in to the device you can see there are various options like status network port poe settings vlan mac address table spanning tree, discovery, DSCP, multicast, routing, security, ACL, QoS, diagnostic and management. So as such lot of things can be configured with the help of this uh, GUI of uh, Commando C2000 series switch. So you can see uh, on the right top there are save button. This save button by clicking save button will copy the running configuration to the startup configuration. This will save the current running configuration to the startup configuration file in commando c2000 series l2 plus switch memory this means that if the power failure or device on off configuration will not be lost and remain as per saved configuration so whatever we save that will be saved this logout button means uh, to end the access of commando switch on a web gui Logging out informs commando switch that current user wishes to end the login sessions. Then reboot. We can reboot this switch software uh, by force to power off and immediately power on. Uh, so this command forcefully restart the switch again. Then debug messages. We can see the important debug message uh, which are uh, available with the uh, for the process of troubleshooting and detecting and removing existing or potential issue in the network. So let's start with the system information tab. In this system information tab, uh, we see uh, the exact running status of the device along with the LEDs. These are the LEDs which is on the device and we can also get the uh, activity on all ports up down status of all port as well as configuration of the device such as system informations models system names system location we can change this also by clicking we can name this as a commando commando we can change the system location also usa contact details also you can have any contact details and that will appear we can change this serial number is uh, unique for a device we can also get uh, mac address ipv4 address ipv6 address system oid system uptime so this is the ip address by which the switch is accessed current time of the switch uh, this is by default time which can be changed as per user uh, requirement then loader version, loader date, firmware version, firmware date. Apart from that, we can get the how the device can be accessed. By default, uh, the HTTP is enabled. You can start with HTTPS or SSH telnet as per your choice. You can also get the CPU and memory information of the switch. So this frontal page itself gives the uh, green means the status of the port is uh, active and on and off means there is no nothing is connected to that port after that we will go to the system time uh, option for configuration of system time so there are three options the SNTP from computer and manual time so let us start with the manual setting 
where we require to manually set we can set the uh, time as per our requirement manually then from the computer the, the time is received by the PC this is a very easy way to uh, synchronize with the current time so you will get uh, the time from by the PC by using browsing information this is one time setting this method of setting the setting time from the PC work both HTTP and HTTPS way then SMTP with SMTP we can have a SN, uh, time it can be received from SMTP time servers SMTP ensures uh, accurate uh, network time synchronization of the device up to millisecond by using SMTP server so there are various SMTP server we can have online also as well as inbuilt also and we can extract the time from that then login messages these are the logs which are created by the switch activity so you can see there are various logs which can be cleared and refresh as per user requirement then link aggregation here we can get the link aggregation table information so we can have multiple trunk port to be aggregated to one lag logical crow then mac address table there are two types of mac addresses static and dynamic mac address addresses depending on the types so this information is mac address table whatever mac address are connect to these devices is shown here so which port it is connected mac addresses type of the port static or dynamic we can make static also after configuration is just a status information of the device then network we can have the IP addresses configured for the device directly statically or dynamically so we apply and we get that IP addresses we can have the DNS so we can have the uh, domain name system translate the domain name into the IP addresses so we can create uh, domain default domain name like this we can add some IP address and we can have uh, as a DNS client where switch resolves the domain name to IP address through the use of one or more let us say I will have this we can uh, this will be resolved one or more configured DNS server then hosts DNS host also known as a host record in the domain that makes the connection between the your domain name and its matching IP addresses so you can add the host name you can add the IP address and apply like that you can create the host then PoE settings so this is a very important feature of this switch where we get the uh, intelligent PoE, PoE++ you can see I have connected around uh, 480 devices on this uh, switch around 4 but still the power util PoE utilizes 2.89 so this uh, intelligent PoE with automatic scheduling in this switch help the required PoE, PoE++ plus requirement in the network as per port basis advanced PoE per port uh, PoE PoE plus controls for remote power management to automate on off with this we can automate the on off of the device let us say Monday we don't uh, want this uh, switch to have the PoE so we can do that we can go to the Monday and we don't want these two hours to have an apply so PoE will not be supplied on these ports on that day like that we can configure uh, that much uh, uh, level of uh, accuracy for remote power management to automate the on off of PoE PoE plus capable device for particular specified timing on per port basis with this auto on off and schedule time make them very intelligent apart from that you can see there is a very less require uh, utilization from available PoE bandwidth which means that we can connect almost all the ports with uh, 80 devices 
so with this uh, great feature of this switch we can have uh, inbuilt security in the device that we will automate the uh, poe in the device next is vlan vlan is very important feature of any uh, layer 2 plus switch so we can create the vlan just by clicking on whatever vlan we like to have let us say we want this also we want last vlan so these created vlan just we apply and that we can also change the name of this vlan let us say i want this hr vlan so this uh, vlan 2 will be called as hr vlan then we can go for this uh, hr vlan the membership can be applied to any of the uh, vlans according to our will so if we want port number 5 to be having a uh, vlan 2 then just we have to do that though membership can be applied in very simple way we can configure and apply membership to particular port for that vlan so we can uh, set the set and edit uh, for hybrid access uh, po hybrid ac ha hybrid port access port trunk port tunnel ports and we can have the vlan also whatever we like and we can create that uh, port setting for particular vlan next uh, voice vlan voice vlan is to prioritize the voice traffic in the network so we can prioritize the voice traffic uh, this feature ensures that sound quality of the ip phone is safeguarded from deteriorating when the data traffic on the port is high this is the basic function of this voice vlan we can enable this we can uh, set the cos or 802.1p priority values by default uh, uh, no vlan is assigned so we can assign any uh, created vlan for having this voice feature so we can enable the port according to our requirement so this property you can select and enable and ensure that uh, sound quality of IP phone is safeguarded class of service voice traffic are enabled or disabled the voice vlan for specific port that can carry traffic from ip phones we can also define the voice oui by default there are eight voice oui in the uh, for automatic assignment of traffic to voice vlan uh, which is done using the oui mac addresses the first three bytes in the mac address contains the manufacturer id and the last three bytes contain the unix station id so we can add also according to our requirement if there is more OEI we can add so this device is future pro protocol vlans we can create the uh, protocol uh, group vlan groups so with this protocol based uh, vlan processes traffic based on the protocol you can use a protocol based vlan to define filtering criteria of untapped packets if you do not change the port configuration or configure a protocol based VLAN, the switch assign the untagged packet to VLAN 1. So uh, by default, we can have these three uh, Ethernet 2, IEEE 802.3 LSE and we can define the uh, port value for that. Then group binding to add group for available port selection. So we can add the available port to this selection then mac vlan this is also a very important feature uh, we can have the mac vlans for configuring an entry in the mac to vlan table and entry specified using the source mac address and the appropriate vlan id the mac to vlan configuration are shared across all the ports of the device so we can have uh, one group one mac address and mask of that and we apply and we can have the group bindings also with this switch surveillance vlan surveillance vlan ensures the cctv 
और रियल टाइम वीडियो और मॉनिटरिंग कंट्रोल विदाउट कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग द ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ कन्वेंशनल नेटवर्क डेटा दिस इज अ स्पेशल फीचर ऑफ सी टू थाउजेंड सीरीज स्विच वेयर वी कैन एनेबल एनी ऑफ द सर्विलेंस व्हील एंड ट्रैफिक एंड वी कैन अप्लाई द पोर्ट्स फॉर दैट सर्विलेंस व्हील एंड ट्रैफिक अकॉर्डिंग टू आर व्हील वी कैन ऑल्सो डिफाइन द ओ आई फॉर द आई पी सर्विलेंस कैमेरा ऑफ मल्टीपल मैन्युफैक्चर वी कैन एड एंड क्रिएट सर्विलेंस कैमेरा विल ट्रांसमिट डेटा एज वेल एज सर्विलेंस व्हील एंड वीडियो ट्रैफिक देन जी वी आर पी विद दिस जी वी आर पी प्रॉपर्टी फ्रेम दैट वेर सेंड और रिसीव फ्रॉम अ पोर्ट for automatic configuration of vlan information on the switch so one switch will send the vlan information to another switch so we don't have to again and again configure this uh, gvr uh, vlans in the switch so we can apply and that will be uh, allowed so we can have the membership and statistics so what ports are transmitting receiving vlan information to other switches so uh, garp vlan registration pro protocol gvrp is required for automatic distribution of vlan membership across the network so gvrp help vlan aware uh, switches or bridges to automate learn vlan to bridge port mapping individual configuration of e switch and vlan membership registration is not required then mac address table we'll see we we'll close these all tabs so mac address table is very important table for any switch where dynamic and static addresses are shown in commando c2000 series l2 plus switch the data link layer device maintain the mac address table according to the capacity like uh, 24 p port switch is having 8k mac id uh, mac address table and uh, 48 uh, port uh, commando c2000 series switch will have 16k mac address table length so this uh, will help to forward the frame to the destination port the mac address table entry on the switch is created either statically or dynamically static uh, will be created by the user and dynamic table contains a mac address that are obtained from incoming traffic to the switch so you can see that these mac addresses from which ports they are coming that all are shown so we can have the number of entries also and aging time one of the very important uh, feature is spanning tree which will avoid the loop in the network so stp we are having three flavors of stp in the switch spanning tree protocol rapid spanning tree and multiple spanning tree so just by clicking that will be selected in the switch apart from that we were having the long and short path cost let us summarize that uh, stp protect a layer to broadcast domain from broadcast home by selectively setting links to standby mode to prevent loop in standby mode these link temporarily stop transmitting user data after the topology change so that the data transfer is made possible the links are automatically reactivated so spanning tree with this uh, commando switch operates in three mode stp is responsible for identifying the links in the network and shutting down the redundant work and preventing the possible network loop rapid spanning tree uh, 802.1w rstp provide signif significantly faster recovery response in the network that changes or failure so it uh, also have the uh, backup links which will help uh, to mitigate the failures and it is backward compatible with stp multiple spanning tree ieee 802.1s makes possible for vlan switching device to use multiple spanning tree allowing traffic belonging to different vlan to flow over potentially different path within the lan so this will have uh, everything active at all the time if we are having mstp activated in this switch so you can have the port uh, setting as per uh, you can enable the port for particular uh, 
spanning tree protocol let us say if i want to have the rstp just i have to click and apply and then we can have that ports all uh, we can edit to have that uh, spanning tree running on them we can have the mst instances which is used to separate the stp port state between the various domain that is means different vlans so we can change this uh, by selecting we can change this MST instances as well as we can have the port setting for this MST instances. So MST uh, 0 to 15 we can have the port setting for each MST instances. So here I want to change 5 then just edit and do it. We can have the path cost from uh, 0 to 2 billion. then discovery with this uh, this is a similar to uh, what neighbor i am connected to that will be shown by this lldp link layer discovery protocol is a vendor neutral link layer protocol used by network device for advertising their identity capabilities and neighbors on the local area network so this property by clicking the property uh, we can allow device to advertise the device by default this is enabled uh, the device information to directly connected peer neighbors. It is a best practice to enable LLDP globally to standardize network topology across all devices if you have a multiple vendor network. Then port setting, configure the LLDP port setting allows you to activate LLDP and SM SNMP notification per port and enter the type length values TLV that are sent in LLDB protocol data unit PDUs. Then MED network policy and LLDB uh, network policy is related to set of configuration settings for specific real time applications such as voice or video. The media endpoint device should send its traffic as a specified in the network policy that it receives. Network policies are associated with the ports on the LLDP MED port setting. So we can add this. We can have the policy ID and VLANs, applications, priority set and DSCP setting to apply this. Then MED port setting. LL, LLDP MED port settings page enables the selection of LLDP MED type length values, TLV values. So we can select the port and apply the TLV values. So location, inventory, whatever like we want to have, we can have that. So uh, the network policies that are included in outgoing LLDP advertisement for each interface. LLDP TLVs are used to describe individual pieces of information that the protocol transfer. We can also have the packet view of uh, each and every port local information this place displays the local information of advertisements that will be transmitted by LLV so this is a local information MAC address chassis ID system name system description capabilities this will be transmitted on these ports then neighbor so this is a neighbor table which contain the information that uh, receive from the neighboring devices so the connected devices are listed here and we can see the ports chassis ids port uh, port ids and time from how much time they are active statistics so we can have the uh, statistic table so how much packets are transferred and received we can clear that also as per our requirement then the most important function of the switch is DSCP server with multiple IPv6 DSCP pool. With this inbuilt DSCP server, we can set for each VLAN, we can have a different DSCP pool. So DSCP pools and interface for individual VLANs can be created with Commando C2000 series switch. It also support IPv4, IPv6 dscp client ipv4 ipv6 dscp relay option 82 ipv4 ipv6 dscp snooping 
so th with this dynamic host configuration protocol automatically assign the ip address and other network configuring parameters to the networking devices which enhancing the utilization of ip address in the network so just by enabling this we are enable the dscp we can have let us say for vlan 1 we want to have the pool let us say vlan 1 pool we can have for vlan 2 vlan 3 different pool as well as we can create have the section of the ip address starting from 10 to 100 we want to enable the primary ds dscp server then after creating a pools and all add a we can create this much number of group servers with this uh, command o c2000 series which uh, vlan ip address uh, will be the vlan's uh, ip address which you allotted for vlan 1 this is the ip address currently we are using so doing that just apply this so we will bind the vlan interface to that ports so if we change the adapter settings from static to dns we will get the access of that uh, device so with the dscp server is used to dynamically so this pc is getting the ip address which we are assigned right now so we can also bind that we can also add and bind the mac addresses to particular vlan and all so we can assign the ip address default gateway and other parameter to the dscp client so this will allows a server to assign ip address to a computer pc laptop mac mac or linux server from pre selected range of ip pools for particular vlan network so this is the advantage with this switch multiple dscp pools then multicasting is a very important property in any switch which can be used for one to many or many to many distributions of packets so uh, with this uh, switch multicast group can have a flood drop or forward to a route port with the help of forward method like d mac vid d pid like that so we can create the group addresses for from uh, 239.0 uh, 239.0.0.0 to 239255255255 so we can create a group ip address assign the members and we can apply this then we can create a routing port router port uh, so this is a multicast router port that connects to multicast router device included in the so we can select what port or what vlan it is connected to and we can apply that forward all means uh, multicast traffic uh, will receive the multicast stream in which vlans we want to forward then throttling this uh, page displays the configuration of all interfaces on switch with the specify specific interfaces then filtering profile uh, a multicast filter profile uh, permits and deny so we can add this permit deny statements the multicast group to be learned when uh, when the join group so we can create a profile like this and we can start ip end ip address allow or deny action can be taken place then filtering binding the multicast filtering to receive only message to the multicast group so we can select the ports accordingly if we don't want to select we have to give up on that port 
this switch support uh, IGMP property version 2 and version 3 so just by clicking we can enable the IGMP so with this uh, IGMP snooping we listen to the uh, network traffic to control the delivery of IP multicast packets which al allows this command to switch to forward multicast traffic intelligently you can block even more multicast traffic or reduce the risk of DOS you can choose to block multicast traffic from unknown addresses with the help of IGMP snooping here we are having the querier uh, the IGMP MLD snooping query query is used to support layer 2 multicast domain of snooping switches in the absence of multicast router then we are having the statistics we can edit that also as per our requirement so we can edit this as per we can enable disable the querier then statistics this page allows to show the summary of the IGMP statistics in this switch we are having MLD version 1 and 2 which can be easily enabled just by clicking and applying so this MLD uh, constraint the flooding of IPv6 multicast traffic in VLAN so MLD snooping run on layer 2 device as a IPv6 multicast constraining mechanism to improve the multicast forwarding efficiency it create the layer 2 multicast forwarding entries from the MLD message data exchange so we can have the version 1 or version 2 just click on apply and edit and you can have the multiple uh, VLANs and just enable the states it will do its functions after that we can see the statistics of MLD traffic MVR uh, MVR property is designed for distribution of multicast traffic on dedicated multicast VLAN across the segregated access network while allowing subscribers who are on the different VLAN to join and leave the multicast group carried in the multicast VLAN so multicast VLAN registration enables more efficient distribution of IPTV multicast stream across the Ethernet freeing based layer 2 network. So just you have to enable, uh, take your VLANs and just apply it will do. After that, uh, port settings we can select the port, edit them and uh, give the role receiver source or none, immediately leave, leave and apply group addresses MVRs are not enabled by default so we can have the uh, explicit configure a MVLAN and assign the range of multicast group address to it that VLAN carries the MVLAN so we can create a group address and can uh, apply that also the major function of this uh, commando layer 2 plus switch is routing so we can create uh, uh, layer 3 interfaces by default for VLAN 1 we are having uh, 192.168.0.1 as an interface we can change this IP also and this is a VLAN 1 IP we can create the route also for other VLANs also we can create we can let us say we create for other VLANs for VLAN 2 we want to create a static IP address 192.168 uh, 10.1 with the mask like that we can create multiple uh, VLAN IP addresses from this we will take a small example to show how the default uh, routes are created and how the static routes are created in the network let us say I have connected this switch to uh, the internet via 192.168.0.100 and I have taken the matrix value as 1 so this way I have created a default route with this switch 
if i want to uh, have the let us say i have connected 1.0 network with the mask this and next stop router ip address is 192.168.0.100 so this way i have created a static route so this is very simple so and this is a routing table for this route so static ipv6 route is a predetermined path that network information must follow to reach the specific host or a network which is having destination subnet mask uh, of for a particular ipv4 addresses next stops to specify the ipv4 gateway address to which the packet should be sent next and this distance which we have configured here is specify the administrative distance by default we can have this administrative distances defined as per our will this is a administrative distances which we are having routing table is used uh, for showing the uh, layer 3 device reachability information so this will determine the how the packets are forwarded to the destination networks then our our will show the uh, vlan ip address mac address and their status and they are having the timeout of uh, by default 1 to 0, 0 seconds so we can have uh, clear all the entries and uh, we again have those entries in the network this uh, router not on uh, this uh, routing features are very essential for any switch to have the layer 3 functionality in the switch we also have uh, in this switch command to c2000 switch ipv6 uh, uh, creation of interfaces and creation of routes so by clicking on ipv6 management interfaces and enabling unicast routing we can add the VLANs uh, to this so we can add uh, the state list or stateful VLANs we can also have the lag uh, loopback interfaces and tunnel interfaces so this IPv6 interface are assigned to interface not nodes and this IPv4 V6 address are represent as a 8 group of 4 hexadecimal digits each group representing uh, 16 uh, bits, 2 octets, a uh, group sometimes is also called as hex thick. The group is separated by colons, these are the colons. Then IPv6 route, we can create a IPv6 uh, route that can deliver the packet to destination IPv6 network by forwarding them to the interface to next stop address specified by the routing table so we can add that routes to destination networks so we can create a route to particular default route as well as specific route to the particular network like in IPv4 IPv6 uh, neighbors this is also a very important feature which gives you information about the connected uh, neighbors to this switch IPv6 neighbor to this switch then security security is a prime feature in any uh, device so we can uh, configure a radius server we can have uh, this radius server for this device we can add the IPv4, IPv6, IP or server IP addresses let us say this is my server IP address we can assign the priority we can usage is like uh, 802.1x or login and apply like this we can create a uh, techcast server also key string let us say apply 
so in build we can have this techs plus and radius server apart from that triple a method list we can have where we by default uh, is a default name we can add new method list let us say i want to have commando method list and have method 1 apply so this is a very simple way to change a login method list for this device so we can have the login authentication by default for all these ports like console telnet ssh http https access we can change with commando like that we can create very easily with this switch then authentication managers this property will uh, give how the authentication will takes place 802.1x map based web based we can enable the guest vlans we can have the mac address we can select the port and we can edit the port uh, authentication type host modes single host multiple host order and methods guest vlan enable disable reject like that we can have we can apply this uh, to all ports we can edit and apply to all ports we can have the mac based local uh, account configuration or web based local account configuration so we can have the force authorized or force unauthorized and web based we can also have username password and confirm password for particular user then sessions we can monitor the sessions so we can clear the sessions also denial of service dos attacks are a very common attack in the network so by default this is a very secure switch where pod lan udp bar tcp and many more attacks are automatically stopped we can enable the dos property on each port then dynamic uh, arp configurations dynamic arp inspection where we have to enable this uh, dynamic arp and assign uh, the vlans to that and apply we can edit the port setting so trust source mac address destination mac address ip address and rate limit we can have then we can see the statistic this dscp snooping feature will allow the uh, rough uh, dscp server not to take access of the network so we can uh, apply the vlans we can uh, trust we can trust or uh, untrust some uh, ports from uh, carrying out the vlan tra uh, dscp traffic we can see the statistics of that we can have the option 82 so we can have the remote id for particular uh, uh, operational status id and we can also have the circuit id for particular vlan as per definition defined ip source card we can edit this uh, ip source card we can enable ip ip mac bindings and maximum entry uh, maximum maximum pcs or laptop connected to each uh, port then i am pv bindings we can edit this i am pv bindings vlan so we can have this bindings of ip mac port vlan so spoof mac addresses cannot attack the network then save database so we can have flash tftp and all we can save all the databases then acl so here we can have l2 l3 l4 based uh, access control list and that can be binded with the ports which we like to have so we have to create the acls and then apply to the uh, ports so we can have the mac based acls to filter traffic 
specify specific to the source MAC address or the range of MAC addresses. So we can have this uh, name MAC SEL. We can also have the number also, and we can create a MAC AC for that MAC SEL name. So MAC AC uh, will actually define the uh, which uh, sequence numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, first one will be, let us say I want to deny some VLAN 2 traffic. So I have to just give or I have to deny source MAC address or destination MAC address. Accordingly, I will uh, create the VLAN very easily for uh, MAC based uh, denial or allowing the traffic in the network. Then IPv4 ACL, let us say I will have this XYZ name. Then I will create IP v, uh, v4 AC. I will have the number 3. I want to show you how the layer 4 traffic can be denied in the network. Let us say I want to deny the TCP traffic. For whom? For uh, destination IP address 20 uh, with the subnet mask this. So just I, I can also have the TCP flag, ICMP flag. So this is layer 4 based denial and I can have IPv6 ACL also. I can create IPv6 ACL, let us say HR and IPv6 AC also I can create. We can just have to add that say sequence number 10 deny DSCP but port number 40 apply so after uh, creating this ACLs which will deny or permit uh, the particular host or particular application or particular MAC address we have to bind it with the ports so let us say I want to bind so MAC ACL I can bind just by applying IP ACL and IPv6 ACL like that it's very straightforward and simple to configure this device. Then QS. This which is having the advanced QS quality of service for traffic prioritization including port base 802.1p and uh, L4, L3 based, DSCP based uh, QS to optimize voice video applications. In general, this uh, QS uh, refers to the technology that manages data traffic to reduce the packet loss, latency, jitter in the network. QS controls and manage network resources by setting priorities for specific type of traffic in the network. So we can enable this QS, cause DSCP base, cause DSCP both or IP precedence. IP precedence is uh, DSCP is backward compatible with the IP precedence where DSCP will give more values to set. COS is uh, layer 2 based uh, mapping for the traffic. Then we can have the queue scheduling. So we are having the 8 queues. We can uh, wait it round robin or we can assign the bandwidth. We can apply the bandwidth. Then we can also have the uh, cost mappings. This uh, QS queue scheduling uh, traffic based on the uh, frames or packet that are mapped to internal forwarding queues. Based on this QS information, uh, the services will be queued and the queuing scheme will be formulated. Then cost mapping is a queuing discipline uh, let us say i want to have this four this four an algorithm compare the field of packet or the cost tax to classify packets to assign the queues of different priorities and we just apply this and it will be done dscp mapping a differentiated service code point or the packet header value that can be used to request a high priority or the best efforts delivery for the traffic. DSCP mapping is used to determine the traffic classification of for network data. So we can classify the traffic and the queues 
according to our requirement then ip precedence mapping ip precedence mapping will allow uh, to specify the class of service for a packet you use the three precedence bit in the type of service field of ipv4 uh, header for this purpose the traffic classifies according to the ip precedence value is mapped so i want to map like this so it's very straight forward we can map this queues after that rate limit rate limit defines the value that determine how much traffic incoming and outgoing ingress and egress port will have so we can select the ports and we can define we how much traffic a port can have we can reduce we can change as per our requirement to limit the number of packet that are flowing in the network this is very useful we can also have the egress queue for each port for three kinds of queue scheduling algorithm like strict priority weighted round robin so we can edit this uh, and we can enable this queues for particular traffic like that we can change the how much amount of traffic that can be going and coming to the switch then diagnostic with this diagnostic we can check the log file of the switch and uh, user log as well as diagnostic logs logs this diagnostic log file records the service processing flow and fault information these logs are sent to log buffer console or terminal monitor as per our requirement so we can have the severity defined like emergency alert critical error warning notice information and debug and we can enable this and that will be shown to the specific users or we can send us to a remote server just give the ip address and this log information which we have set will be transferred to that server okay according to the severity so if we apply that port will get that that uh, server address will get this log information then mirroring with this mirroring we can uh, mirror the flows let us say i want to monitor these ports with the help of this g4 port i want to monitor this uh, users ingress egress traffic accordingly so the malicious activities can be detected in the network so by mirroring the all the traffic sent will be duplicated and sent to this monitor port then ping ping stands for packet internet grouper that tests the connection between two networks node by sending packets to host and measure the round trip time so we can have the host name like uh, commando networks.com we can start a ping and with the ip address also we can ping this ping uh, will measure the round trip time transmit and uh, receive packets okay we can also have the ipv4 based pings say i want to ping with a ip address like this or we can also have failure of the packet will define that network is not reachable if packet is successful that network is reachable so success transmit receive packet and round trip it's its own ip so it is pinging then trace route 
we can have the host name or ip before addresses trace routed from this network let us say i want to trace route 0.100 ipv4 address so trace route is used to display the route path you your uh, device has to pass to reach the host this measures the transmit delay uh, of the packet across the entire path of the host okay let us say i want to also ping to if it is not uh, reachable then uh, it will show the route uh, doesn't exist like that information will come with the switch then copper test copper test feature of the switch where the port can uh, be up or down can be determined as well as the cable length can be determined let us say if i am connected to one of the ports G twenty seven. Let us say I want to check the length of this uh, cable. So this is a twenty six meter length. This switch uh, can have cable length up to two fifty meter, depending on the uh, CAT six cabling which you are having, which is far more than the uh, top brand switch. Then fiber module. I can insert the fiber module and. can see the uh, temperature voltage current power and all other parameters so sap modules uh, can be uh, inserted then this udld is a property for unidirectional link detection so we can enable this on the ports where we have inserted the uh, sap's and this will find out the faulty fiber and deactivate that to avoid the loops in the network then neighbors so whatever other switches are connected that will be shown by the neighbor then the last thing is the management of the switch so management uh, is having various tabs like user account the user account page will configure the settings for the switch management feature so by default username is admin with privilege admin we can add delete the users by this and we can have the admin or user privilege so accordingly the uh, if i give user then minimum we cannot we just have to see the switch we cannot configure much more in the switch we can also have this admin change to some other name as per requirement then management access this page describe the access rules for various management methods so management vlans management services so we can enable this uh, this is a very important page of the switch where we can enable these services to take the access of the device with session timeout password retry timeouts and uh, silent time so by default http is enabled now we can uh, have telnetting sessions also with the switch let us try with the telnetting after enabling that also that only this telnetting session will be allowed we can have also have the ssh sessions so we have just enable that enter i have not applied sorry <laughs> i have to apply that then only it will be allowed otherwise these sessions will not be allowed i will again try with that
this way username is admin and password is commando so this way we will get the access of the uh, cli access of the commando c2000 series switch then management acl we can have this management acl that define and match the condition of inbound ip packets you set the rule to allow or deny the access to the matching inbound ip packet so you can create management acl also apply and you can active deactivate or delete you can create a management ac which will uh, have this uh, http http sntp ssh telnet access allow or deny for particular ports so this is a added security feature in your device then firmware we can easily upgrade the firmware or take the backup image through http or tftp to enhance functionality of the switch so uh, upgrade backup is very simple for this device we can have the methods also and the ip addresses as usual we can have this activity then we this is a major feature of the switch called as dual image so if one set of the startup image is uh, corrupted or damaged we can also automatically go to the another uh, image so image 0 and image 1 we can have in the switch and accordingly we will apply and have the dual image configuration of the switch so the corruption of ios uh, uh, corruption of command os or any os will not harm the working of your switch then configuration we can uh, upgrade or backup with the help of tftp http we can have this uh, running configuration uh, backup or running configuration it will be downloaded to the machine which we are connected to so we can upgrade or backup configuration file through http or tftp server we can save the configuration files then snmp snmp is an important uh, feature of any networking device where we can add snmp uh, and we can have the simple network management protocol tool uh, which grabs the performance of networking devices so we can uh, have snmp version 1 SM, snmp version 2c and snmp version 3 so we can select that version we can have the groups we can have read write notify and we can create the community also so this community string is a user id or a password that sent along with the get request so we can add this community string then user we can create a community can add that user id specify the snmp username on the host that connect the snmp agent so we can add that so we have to configure this for snmp version 3 then engine id uh, is only used for snmp version 3 so it is user defined then trap events we can monitor the uh, trap events like for this authentication failure or link up down cold start warm start this trap we can have then notification snmp user uses trap otherwise known as notification to notify the server so we can add that notification for versions also then armon armon is a remote monitoring together with snmp system allow the network manager to monitor remote network devices efficiently so with this armon we can remotely have monitoring of the device so we can uh, armon reduces traffic flows between the nms and the managed devices which is convenient to manage large networks so this is very uh, good uh, remote monitoring tool which is inbuilt available with the 
we can have set the port then sample intervals and the owner name then we can monitor the events that uh, these are the actions that occur when associated arm or alarm is triggered so these are the actions it can be configured to generate a log event a trap to an snmp network management station or both then alarm Armal alarm allows you to monitor MIB object for a desired transitory. So we can add. So this can be added first, and then only it will be alarm will be activated. Then we can erase and remove all configuration with uh, restore to factory default setting. Hope uh, you like the video, and this will be going to the. Uh, Uh, the factory fitted settings of this device 